Hello and welcome dear viewers to the video on intermediate and long term stability condition. In this video we are going to see what are the intermediate and long term stability condition and what are the importance. I have made one another video on accelerated stability condition and in this video we are going to see the long term and intermediate conditions. So generally formal stability studies involves the stability conditions as accelerated stability condition intermediate and long term accelerated storage conditions involve the storage of formulation or api at 40 degree celsius and 75 percent rh for six months Intermediate condition involves storage period of 12 months at 30 degree, 65% RH and long term condition involves storage for 24 months. So long term condition is also called as real time testing or real time stability testing or real time condition and this long term condition can be extended for having the extension for expiry period. Long term condition for majority of the pharmaceutical formulations and APIs is 25 degrees Celsius temperature and 6 and 60 percent RH. Accelerated stability studies are done as these involve the storage temperature of 40 degree and RH of 75% and these conditions increase the rate of chemical degradation and physical change of the drug by accelerated storage conditions. Accelerated condition is also a part of formal stability study for shelf life estimation and expiry period estimation. So now we will see what is intermediate condition and what is the importance. If you Consider the accelerated condition and intermediate condition, then you will know that the intermediate conditions are moderately stressful than the long term condition, and these are less stressful than the accelerated condition. Intermediate conditions are the storage conditions with temperature and humidity, which is moderately higher than the long term condition and that's why these conditions can increase the rate of chemical degradation or physical changes for a drug substance or drug product. These conditions are having the more stressful storage conditions compared to the real time condition or long term condition. See whenever the stability is initiated that time the samples are loaded at accelerated intermediate and long term condition at a time or together you can say generally the long term condition involves storage for a longer period of time compared to the intermediate and accelerated condition so intermediate stability study data is used if there is a significant change occur at the accelerated condition if you have stored the formulation at 40 degree and 75 percent RH and if there is increase in the impurity or decrease in the assay or failure to meet the predefined specification at any point of time during the accelerated stability study and these changes or these failures are called as significant change. So whenever there is a significant change or failure of the formulation at accelerated condition that time intermediate condition data is used. Speaking for the abbreviated drug applications like for US market the AND application can be submitted with six month stability data and this data involves accelerated intermediate and long term stability data. If the product shows or if there is a significant change or failure in any of the drug product quality attributes or drug product CQAs, then the intermediate conditions can be used. 
in simple meaning if there is a significant change in the product at accelerated condition then intermediate condition data is submitted and this data is required for all the three batches and along with the accelerated data intermediate data is submitted and there is a justification required or failure analysis required for the failure of the product at accelerated condition then when there is a significant change occurred at the accelerated condition the retest period or shelf life would be depend on the outcome of the stability testing at the intermediate condition and as well as the long term condition so as per the ics guidelines the intermediate condition can be used if there is significant change at accelerated condition and this is the main importance of the intermediate data then come to the long term stability condition so as the name indicates it takes long time for around uh, you can say 24 months or 2 years and this is a real time stability testing there is no increase in the temperature there is no increase in the humidity and as per the product recommendations for storage these storage conditions are there if the product is required to be stored at room temperature then 25 degree celsius and 60% rh will become the long term stability condition see the product must meet the quality parameters at the long term condition or in the real time testing it should pass and this data helps you to have the expiry period if the product is having or is intended to be having expiry period of 2 years then the product should be stable for 2 years at long term condition the basis of the long term stability is to study the product quality by storage of the product at the recommended storage condition and whatever the recommended storage condition or to be recommended storage condition will become the long term stability condition if accelerated stability study fails or if there is significant change then the applicant can proceed with the long term data sometimes along with the long term data intermediate data is used for extrapolation purpose the final approval and the expiry period are approved based on the long term stability data if the product shows significant change at accelerated condition and also at intermediate condition that time long term data can support for the expiry period and always understand that the long term data is must for the shelf life extension also if any product is stable for 2 years and if the applicant wants to extend its shelf life then the stability data for the intended extend extension period should be there if the product is uh, having stable or stability at 2 years at long term condition and if applicant wants to extend it for 3 years then the product should be stable at long term condition for 3 years and then only the expiry period can be extended so this is regarding the long term and intermediate stability condition i hope i have covered the importance of intermediate condition and long term stability condition let's meet soon with such kind of informative video thank you for watching this video and thank you for your continuous support to this channel also i request you to watch other videos which are related to stability so that you will have good understanding about the topics thank you